all right everybody we're back with another video uh in this one um as said in the last video we're going to be doing can you do orlando enclosed trailer please uh this is for is that livian hernandez all right so let's jump on central real quick um come on now why ain't you roll there we go let's take out nashville take out cleveland tennessee Let's do Orlando. I don't imagine a lot will pop up for this because usually when you're looking at the enclosed market on Central, I don't think you see uh, a lot in particular that pops up. Uh, not sure if you're trying to do local or if you're trying to just do out uh, regional over the road. So I'll just leave it at 100 miles within Orlando and we'll just go ahead and go down here and put uh, enclosed trailer type. So, you know, it's already set to a dollar per mile. Honestly, man, if you're going to be doing enclosed, uh, you need to be higher than a dollar per mile. Uh, for instance, like this right here, this 2024 uh, Chevy Silverado, not Silverado, but uh, Colorado. Um, you know, somebody's wanting that enclosed transport and they're only wanting to pay a dollar and four cent a mile. This is going 1154 miles. So, you know, if you got an enclosed trailer, you know, you should be mainly dealing with like exotics or, you know, some type of vehicle that's, you know, up there, um, I guess, in the impression uh, arena. Uh, because a 2024 Chevy, Chevrolet uh, Colorado, I mean, there's nothing special about it. Uh, no offense to anybody that might have one, but it's just an ordinary car. Um, and most times when somebody wants you to transport a enclosed car, it's a luxury car. They don't want rocks, rain, uh, wind. They don't want the elements being able to um, get to the car. Uh, so that's the purpose of it. But, you know, they're paying a open trailer price for trying to get this truck haul enclosed. It, it's not worth it to take it not to me unless you're getting started in the enclosed trailer it's the only thing that you have that's different um but we'll run through these it's only 14 of them you know 2024 uh chevrolet and i'll sit it's only 14 because most people really don't care again about uh vehicle traveling enclosed Unless, again, it's luxury or something of that nature. So, 2024 Chevrolet, Chevrolet Colorado uh, right-way trans, uh, transport. It's going to be from Clearwater to, uh, I'm going to butcher this name. This is PF uh, view. I know the world. It is Texas. Uh, $1,200. Um, um, 1154 miles and dollar four cent a mile. In my opinion, that is definitely not worth it. Um, and you know, ironically, you're going from Florida, a state that is hard to get stuff out of, going to Texas, where again, it's hard to get stuff out of that state as well. Um, you know, not moving around within the state, you can particularly find that, but trying to come out and go to another location is not as easy. Get uh, things out of both of those locations. Uh, 1969 Jaguar E-Type, uh, Claremont, Florida to uh, po uh, po Polka, Florida is $350, 23 miles, uh, $15.22 a mile. Now, that's a price that you should be seeing for enclosed transport. Uh, you got a 2020 uh, Easy Go uh, golf cart. Small vehicle, light. You probably won't even fill it back there. That'll be worth your time. Uh, in my opinion, Leesburg, Florida to Melbourne, uh, Florida. Uh, it's $250, 95 miles, $2.63 per mile. That's an uh, enclosed price. Melbourne to Melbourne is 8 miles, $100. It's $12.50 a mile. That's a 1962 BMW R50 uh, slash 2. Um, that would be worth it. Uh, you got 1958 Mega Roaster. It's Newport, Ritchie, Florida to Charlotte, North Carolina. NC in the house. Uh, not worth the price. Uh, $650, uh, 574 miles, $1.13 a mile. That wouldn't be worth it to me. 
1967 Chevrolet, uh, what is this? Chevelle. Right way again, it's Ocala, Florida to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, $750, 627 miles, a dollar and 20 uh, cent a mile. Uh, one thing I learned from, um, you know, uh, old school cat and from looking at different videos and stuff like that, and just from being in the industry, you'll see something, um, you know, not something, but you'll see this thing where, you know, when it's getting cold outside in the colder weather temperatures like up north and all those areas like that, you will have an influx of people sending exotic cars uh, down to the Florida area uh, where, you know, they go when it's cold outside uh, so that they can still enjoy warm weather. Uh, what you're starting to see now is where people are sending those vehicles back. Uh, to their destinations once it starts to warm up outside a little bit uh, in the spring and summertime you'll see them going back to the different states in which they came from uh, because people travel back home or they're not vacationing or whatever uh, you will see that definitely in the car industry uh, it's something to learn especially if you're doing enclosed because you know again when it gets cold you'll want to be in those type of uh, areas where they're sending the vehicles down to Florida, you'd be running back and forth between there and then, you know, and not just in Florida, but down towards where it's warm in the wintertime, uh, could even be Texas and so on and so on, uh, uh, throughout that area. But now that it's warming up again, of course, again, the vehicles are going back. So you'll be trying to stick around the Florida area or those warmer areas to take those vehicles back to get good pay going back. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Uh, you got a 2024 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, it's coming from Auto Hauler Exchange, Ocala, Florida to Waynesville, North Carolina. In the house again, but they not paying a good price. $5.75, $5.539 uh, miles, $1.07 a mile. That is not worth it. 2023 Dodge Challenger, in my opinion, that is. I can't tell you what's worth it to you. In my opinion, it's not. Orlando, Florida to Miami, Florida. Um, again, 2023 Dodge Challenger. You got $375, 267 miles, $1.40 per mile. You got a 1976 MG, MGB. I see this vehicle like this posted up here all the time. And I want to see what it is because that car is up here in different areas all the time. Okay, gotcha. What's that movie that Chris Tucker did when he was driving that doggone vehicle like that? Uh, Money Talks, I think it was. Yeah, that's the Money Talk vehicle. All right, let's go back to Central. Uh, let's close that out, close that out. Uh, Copart, that's the maps, and we'll go back to Central. Um, how much is it paying? So it's a 1976 uh, MG to MGB. It's going from, oh, what's that, Oviedo, Oviedo to Florida to Grand Haven, Michigan. Um, it's paying $1,400, 1,242 miles, $1.13 a mile. Not worth it in my opinion. 1993 Toyota Supra, uh, Supra, Supra, uh, Port Orange, Florida to Fernando, uh, Fernandia Beach, Florida is $300, 130 miles, $2.31 cent a mile. Might not be too bad. I, I would definitely take that. Uh, 2024 Legion two seat, uh, golf cart. Okay. It's going from St. Augustine, Florida to Banner Elk, North Carolina, back with North Carolina. Um, $600 is 538 miles, and it's a dollar and 12 cent a mile. That, I don't know if that's worth it or not. It could be, uh, depending on how big your trailer is, because a golf car, obviously, is not going to take up a lot of space. You could possibly get that thing in there and turn it to the side, and it'll be taking up very minimum space. So, you know, depending on what you got to match up with it, it that might not be bad because the golf cart is light. It's not going to take up a lot of space and uh, a lot of real estate, and it, it's not that heavy. So that might be worth it, uh, depending on what, again, you have to match up with it. Got a 2015 Yamaha golf cart. 
uh, Sebring, Florida to Buckeye, West Virginia. Thousand dollars, eight hundred ninety nine miles, dollar eleven cent a mile. Again, same situation with the golf cart. Uh, you got two mixed vehicles, and in my opinion, this is definitely not worth it. Just looking at it, I don't even have to look at the vehicles. But Summerfield, Florida to Smyrna, South Carolina. They want you to transport two vehicles. They're paying eleven hundred and fifty dollars, so it's four hundred ninety seven miles, dollar sixteen a mile per vehicle. Uh, again, for an enclosed trailer, it's, you know, those are not enclosed trailer prices. But you got a 2001 Chevrolet Corvette and you got a 2005 Fairplay 2C. And, you know, another thing, too, you think about the people that are shipping these vehicles. You know, these are exotic type vehicles and nine times out of ten or some kind of sports model vehicle. When you're applying for these vehicles, if you're not paying for cash, they see these vehicles as luxury cars, right? If you got luxury money to spend on the vehicle, you should have luxury money to ship these cars off. Now, that doesn't say that the customer is not paying a premium price to ship these cars. More than likely, what is happening is these brokers are taking uh, most of that money and, you know, they're probably taking more than half of it. And they are looking because the average broker, what they'll do is they'll look up here and see what prices are being paid in that lane. Um, that's running, you know, the average prices and so on and so on, and they're posted according to that. They're not posted according to what they're actually being paid for the vehicle. So if this customer paid, what, uh, let's say $3,000 to get this vehicle shipped, or get both of those vehicles shipped because it's enclosed, the first thing a broker is going to tell them, hey, you know, it's an enclosed uh, transport. Normally, enclosed runs more than what uh, the open cars does so more than likely what's happening is the broker is keeping most of this money and they're only putting out um you know a small amount to go towards the shipper um you know brokerage game is 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 dirty man because for the most part it's you know there's no supervision over it there's nobody that's uh you know although you got the fmcsa over it you know you don't have anybody that's really you know, monitoring or keeping them fair in their prices, uh, similar to like a Walmart. And, you know, when Walmart come in, they have low prices. So, you know, other stores have to be competitive to try to survive when a Walmart is there, right? Or, you know, just a, a general area uh, with these brokers, you know, there's really nobody in the game that's trying to, or not that's trying to, but that's uh, forcing them to be competitive and you know the average customer don't know what's going on that hey you know I'm paying a high price for this vehicle and you know the broker is keeping most of the money but they're telling me that it's going to cost this much to get a good transporter to take it so you know more nine times out of ten that's what's going on with that because these are definitely not most of these are not enclosed prices uh, again another one 2024 Subaru Cross Trek um Tampa Florida to Cleveland Ohio this is not a enclosed type vehicle number one uh number two I'm sure they charge this customer out the behind for it but yet they're going to put it up here for you as a transporter to take it for a dollar and one cent because they know they can post it and somebody out here is going to take that um so you know those to me are not really enclosed prices uh, some of them are like this $15, this $2, you know, that's more of the enclosed price, but that dollar stuff, that's like that open bed, you know, that's more open bed carry, uh, type situation. Um, so we'll just look it up in ship.cars real quick, since there wasn't many up there. Uh, where were we looking at Orlando? We'll do a hundred mile radius and take that off. Advanced search. Can we shut this down to uh, enclosed? I'm surprised I didn't see more motorcycles up there a while ago. Um, I don't know if we can do. Yeah, try it. Enclosed. Okay. Never really did enclose on this one here. So 11 loads are found. Uh, so you got Seminola, Seminole. Oh, yeah. Seminole, Florida to Grand Prix, Texas. Got a 2008 Honda ST1300 motorcycle. Uh, embarrassing. It's $450.39 per mile. 
uh, ain't taking that for nowhere. We're not even reading these. I just looked at the mileage. You got a Harley Davidson they're trying to take for 42 cents a mile that's going from Ocala to Arizona. Not worth it. Um, uh, Pontiac Firebirds, they're trying to pay you 53 cents. Now, mind you, this is enclosed transport. You're paying me 53 cents a mile. That's stupid. 79 cents a mile. 79, 45, 92 cents, 64 cents, 56 cents. 48 cent. That's an embarrassment. These are enclosed. Like for instance, this one right here is a 2023 Mercedes Benz G uh, 500 SUV, right? They're paying a thousand dollars for it to go from Lake Glen, Florida to Cape Mary or Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. Uh, that is definitely not an enclosed price. That's 93 cent per mile. Not worth it. Uh, it's embarrassment. They shouldn't even be posting stuff like that, man. All of them need to be slappity slap. Um, and we'll check out ship.cars really quickly. Florida, let's see, vehicles. Can we do travel type? Yes, let's do enclose. Again, I don't imagine too much will pull up up here at all, but we'll see. All right, so they got four listings. They got Edgewater, Florida to couple in Maryland. Uh, again, you know, it's not that price. Uh, price point is not there. It's 2004 Chevrolet SSR regular cab, 76 cent a mile, $700. That's not worth it. It's got a 1965 Buick Revere, uh, Revere, excuse me, from Village, Florida to Wayneboro East, Maine, 44 cent, not worth it. You got a Yamaha up here, R7. You can put it anywhere, sir. 44 cent, that's not worth it. 1964 Chevrolet. Uh, Corvier, Corvier, 52 cent. It's not worth it. Um, now, at the same time, I say these prices are not worth it. Granted, if you're starting off and you got enclosed and you got a truck, that's different, right? Uh, but at some point in time, when you're with the enclosed trailer, um, you know, you're going to have to get up on your price game because for enclosed transport, that's a premium. You know, that's more of a premium service than an open car uh, trailer, you know, at some point in time. Yeah. Hey, sweetheart, can you bring me some water? At some point in time, your prices are going to go, um, your prices are going to go up. So, again, if you're just starting, don't let me, you know, the, the way that I'm saying that these are not worth it. You know, being in the game for a little while and so on and so on, seeing what enclosed prices should be and all that type of stuff. You know, that's what I'm saying. Now, if, again, you're just starting off and that's all you have is an enclosed trailer and you want to get started, yeah, those prices, you know, not that 44 cent crap. But, um, you know, if you're taking vehicles, even at the open bed uh, market, because if you got enclosed, you can take the open bed trailer cars as well. You know, that's not bad. But versus jumping on these, uh, matter of fact, let's see real quick since that wasn't a long one all right so for instance right here you got a polka to sanford florida um you know this is local it's a 2015 mishibishi outlander uh it's 26 miles 60 dollars and it's two dollars and 31 cent a mile that's a price that's an open car carrier right but you should be seeing that in the enclosed market so you know you know, it would be easier for you to even just be running these because they don't care. You know, it's a plus to them if you pull up in a closed, uh, enclosed car trailer. So, you know, you're getting paid more in the open bed market than you are in the enclosed trailer market. So, you know, you might as well be pulling these, um, the open bed uh, trailers uh, or the open bed cars because some of these prices are really not looking that bad uh, for the ones. That could possibly fit in there. Uh, for instance, this 2020 Mission BC, uh, what is this? Nope, that's a box truck slash that. Global X Logistics, they can go to hell with the quickest route they can get there. Um, this Ready Logistics right here, 2021 Kia Sorento, you should be able to fit that in an enclosed. They're paying $1.30 uh, or $130, 80 miles, $1.63 a mile. That's Crystal River, uh, Florida to Oki. Uh, Florida, I'm assuming. Uh, let's skip. And right here, you got 2015 Dodge Challenger. You can definitely fit that in. Clearwater, Florida to Tampa. That's $85, 26 miles, $3.27 per mile. 
uh, here. Not you want baby to fit that. That's a pretty good paint though. Let's see here. 2011 Dodge Charger, you could fit that. That's Brandon, Florida to Hudson, Florida. Dollar $125, 59 miles, $2.12. You know, just something like that. I hope you understand what I mean when I, I say that. You know, it's no need for you to limit yourself to enclosed because what them enclosed prices are, they're definitely not worth it. Uh, so, you know, hopefully that answers your question, though. Um, again, I will say in this video, for those that have seen the other video, uh, two videos that I posted recently, if you have posted a comment and I did not get to it, if you have asked a question, I did not get to it. If you wanted me to search an area and I did not get to it, um, at some point in time, just simply repost it for me or put it back up there, either under the comments. Uh, you can send me an email, call and Joe, uh, at gmail.com. Just put it back up there and I'm going to get to it. I'm working on getting to the, all of these videos within this next week or two uh, to try to get them all posted and get them up there uh, where they need to be. Uh, so that's going to be it for this one. Um, I hope I answered your question, Hernandez. And uh, if you want to see the open car market, I'll go back and do another video for you. Just let me know. Um, I'll go up there and just uh, run through those and do another one for you if you need them. So just let me know that. And uh, that's going to be it for that one. Catch y'all on the next one. What you got, girl?